morning, Panthers, and welcome back to another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Taylor Marino, bringing Charter's latest to you. For this week's episode, we decided to do an at-home CTV2 episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Our crew and I have put together a list of top 10 movies and TV shows that are binge-worthy for you to watch this quarantine. Now, some of these shows are a little bit more on the mature side, and some of them are okay. So before watching them, I would look them up and make sure that you would be comfortable with them. And coming in at number one, we have Outer Banks. This is a brand new show on Netflix about a teenager who enlists his three best friends to search for a legendary treasure that links to his father's disappearance. For number two, we have Euphoria, which features the wonderful Zendaya. So if you're a Zendaya fan, I mean, I'd go watch it for sure. Coming in at number three, we have Shameless. This is an American comedy series about a family of six that leads a dysfunctional life and learns to face the troubles of the world. For number four, we have Teen Wolf, which is about a teenager in high school whose life gets completely changed when he gets bitten by a werewolf. Coming in at number five is the show Elite. This is a drama slash mystery about three teens who get enrolled to a private school in Spain and it all leads to a murder mystery. Up next, for number six, we have Vampire Diaries. A little bit of an older show, but it tends to have a lot of fans. Coming in at number seven, we have Never Have I Ever. It's a Netflix original show about a first generation Indian American teenager going through the troubles of high school. At number eight, we have Riverdale, which is kind of a spin off of the Archie comics. So if you were a fan of the Archie comics and you like mystery and a little bit of a scare, go ahead and try out watching Riverdale. Coming in at number nine, we have Glee. This is an American comedy slash drama about a group of teens in Glee Club. At number 10, we have Pretty Little Liars, which is a mystery slash drama about five girls and a stalker. Now I hope you like the choices that we provided you with. I'm Kayla Humphrey. And I'm Ella Ben. Bringing Charter's latest to you. <laughs> Let's go, baby, we're back. Whoa, Panthers, is that you? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Social distancing, all right? Chill. I'm Dominic Johnson, and we're back with another episode of CSPN. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, it has led to the cancellation of all spring sports for the remainder of the spring season, including baseball. And that's why we're here to talk to Joseph Campbell about his high school career. The thing I'm going to miss most about playing with Cold Springs Charter for baseball is probably the competitiveness of high school ball and how the energy was from our team. Like whenever it was a close game, we would be rambling back and forth to the other team and it, there was just a lot of energy. My heart was going the whole time. And I feel like that's when we played our best. And that that's truly what I'm going to miss the most about playing for Charter. Also, on another note about not playing baseball in college and how the season ended uh, short, it it sucks, it does, truly, but it, it honestly was more of my choice of not playing. I could have probably played at a lower division, but I want to go to a college that I get the whole experience, and I feel like at a smaller college, I just want to get the same. All right, thank you, Joy, for sharing with us your thoughts on your high school baseball career. That's all for this week, Panthers. See you next week. What is going on, Panthers, and welcome back to another episode of CSPN. I'm Nathan Whaley. As you can see, we are all stuck at home right now due to the coronavirus. The coronavirus has canceled all sports around the world, including our school sports. But athletes are still finding ways to stay in shape during quarantine. Let's bring it over to Tony. Hey Panthers, as you all know, all major sports leagues are currently postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic and athletes that are being stuck at home have to find ways to stay in shape when the time comes for them to get back to work. So here's a few exercises they could do at home. Sit-ups, push-ups, squats, and planks. Well that's all for me for CSPN. Now back to you Nathan. Well that's all we have on CSPN this week. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying at home. We'll see you guys next time. 
What's going on Panthers? In case you all forgot, my name is Joel Gomez and welcome back to Student Life. Today, we're going to be making a cake out of three ingredients that you may have at home. Let's jump into it, shall we? First, get yourself some cookies. It doesn't have to be these cookies, just any cookies. Cause like a wise old woman named Tabitha once said, that's your business. Now you're just going to break them apart and put them in the blender, just like so. And you're going to let them blend. When they're done, they should look like this. Now you're just going to pour them into a big pan, like so, and spread them out evenly. Now get yourself a little bit of baking soda and put it in your cookie crumbles and whisk it around. Now go wherever you keep the milk and put some milk and pour it in and start mixing it. Now you're going to pour the batter and spread it out so it's even. Now preheat your oven to about 350 and when it's hot, put it the batter in. Check on the cake occasionally for about between 15 and 30 minutes depending on how your oven cooks. Your cake should be ready. Make sure you cover your hands when you're taking it out and look at that. <laughs> Someone play the Ratatouille music because that cake looks immaculate. There you go folks, a lovely cookie cake. Well there you have it Panthers. Those are all of the steps to make a delicious three ingredient cake that you and your family can enjoy during this quarantine. And in the words of the amazing Miss Clark, I miss all of your beautiful faces. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy and I hope you have an amazing Friday and even better weekend. See y'all next time. Hey Panthers! Welcome back to Middle School News. Hope you guys are practicing social distancing and hope you guys are staying healthy. I'm Carly Sotilli. And I'm Tyler Pino. And we're going to show you our pets. <laughs> I'm Olivia Bressler and today I'm going to introduce some pets. This is Honey. She is four years old. She will give you a kiss if you give her a treat and loves to jump and roll over. Next we have Otis, Jackson, and Sadie. They're all golden doodles and Otis is 14. Jackson is two, and Sadie is one. Finally, we have Fluffy. She's one years old, and she doesn't really do much because she's a hamster, but she's really cute. That's all we have for this week since we're quarantined. We love you and we miss you guys. Stay safe. Are you tired of thinking all day what to do? Do you miss seeing your friends at school? Are you sick of snacking all day? Well, don't worry, we got you covered. Don't be bored, come join the second Zoom talent show at Charter. See what talents these students have to offer from lip syncing to TikToks. Tonight at 7.30, keep on the lookout for the meeting ID. And we can't wait to see you guys. Show your Panther pride. Always remember, once a Panther, always a Panther. My name is Aiden Tijoli and welcome to Online SGA News. For obvious reasons, right now there is not much going on, but we do want to announce that voting for SGA officers will begin on May 8th. The candidates and officer positions are as follows. Lizzie Silva for President, Skylar Padil for Vice President, Brooke Lieber, Clay Bueno, and Katie Foster for Vice President of School Affairs, Aliza Khalil, Isabella Michelotti, Katerina Martinez, and Melanie Rodriguez for Secretary, and Alexa Trejo, Haley Torres, and Lexi Self for Treasurer. I would also like to use this platform to announce that I will be running for the spot of Supreme Dictator for SGA, in case anyone was wondering. Anyways, make sure you all go out and vote for your candidate of choice when elections start. That about does it for this week of SGA News Online. I'm Aiden Tijoli signing off. Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Behind the ID Quarantine Edition. We all know it's been a difficult time for everyone, adjusting to being quarantined at home and to top it off with online school. 
And of course, we also have students working hard on their online classes during this time. TikTok has been trending a lot, and many students have been using it. For example, senior Brandon Bennett has been using it to his advantage. Some ways shown is by binging shows on Netflix, playing video games, making TikToks, catching up on schoolwork, or cleaning and decluttering. Other ways can be playing outside, working out, dancing, and getting to spend more time with siblings. We have students like Senior General Ball working on the literary magazine. Evan Learn playing video games. I just need stone. Lots of it. All I wanna do. Wow. Emily Furman reading books. Crystal Wallace cleaning up her house and playing with her dog. School may be closed, and times like this may be tough, but with the right mindset, we can get through this. Till next time, this is Keanu Glassell from Behind the ID for CTV2's Quarantine Edition. Hey, 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 I'm Marley Ackerman coming to you with your fine arts news. Are you stressed out because of the current situation? Are you looking for new hobbies to pass the time while you procrastinate? Do you have a deep inner passion to create, but you haven't yet found the right outlet? Well, that all ends today. I'm bringing you the perfect list of ways to never be bored and to make the most out of isolation. Number one, give your room a new fresh look by drawing or painting on the walls, and you know it'll turn out good because the stakes are real high. Number two, if you're feeling particularly stressed, there are a bunch of apps on the App Store and the Google Play Store that are devoted entirely to common coloring pages. Here are just a few of the many, many options. Number three, do you have an instrument in your house that you've never learned to play before? It is so the time for that. Go over to that grand piano in your living room that no one plays. Pick up that guitar that you got at a yard sale and make sure you tune it first. Don't have an instrument? Make one. <laughs> Number four, not too into making music? That's okay, make up a dance for TikTok and try to make it go viral. The system has no clue what it's doing anyway, so you should have a good chance. Number five, too many emotions and not enough people to talk to? Write poetry. It feels stupid when you're doing it and it feels even stupider when you're reading it, but other people will think it's good. And finally, number six, if you're too lazy to do any of these things, that's okay. Appreciate the arts instead. Here's a list of movies that are free on Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu. Thanks so much for tuning in to Fine Arts News. I'll see you all next time, and have a happy, healthy Friday. What's up, guys? Day 87 without doing a promo? Starting to lose my mind a little bit, but it's okay, because I'm on a boat. We're uh, doing a little fishing right now, too, so we'll get back to you if I uh, get anything. Guys, I think I got one. Oh, oh, big one. Get him in. Ugh. Oh, in the well. Oh, yeah. Let's check on Garv, see what he's doing during his quarantine. What's up, guys? It's Garv Gabriel back again with another promo. Um, probably the last one for a year, but it's okay. Um, it's been a long, long time in quarantine, and I made some new friends. I'd like to introduce you guys. I'd like to introduce you guys to Mr. Ducksworth. He stayed getting that green. And then second of all, but not least, we got Lil Spooky, no relation. Anyways, that's all from me. I hope everyone's doing okay. And don't forget, no matter how far away we are, once a panther, always a panther. Hey guys, it's Joey, and I just wanted to let you guys know that this is probably going to be the last time you're going to see me on CTV2, which is very unfortunate, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I loved entertaining you guys every other week, and that it's been an honor to be put in such a position that I can show my creativity to everyone and have everyone kind of respond to me and just, you know, show love back. So it's been a wild ride. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you for tuning into promos. Yo, Chase.
Nice throw, Chase. Hey, can I play with you guys? Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Whoa, Tom, six, six feet away, buddy. Six feet away. It's not six feet. Why not? I miss you guys. Because of the coronavirus, silly. You don't want to get sick, do you? Yeah. Have, have you not been following the procedures? What are you guys talking about? What procedures? You know what, Jake? I'm sick of this kid. Let's teach him a lesson. Yeah, bro, I'm about to talk bad on this kid on my private story. Wait, what is what? Thanks for tuning in to another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Taylor Marino, bringing Charter's latest to you.